Aunt Linda, how great to hear from you. It's been a long time. You know Annie has gone back to work? Yep, she's selling real estate. Matter of fact, she's showing a house right now. So I'm helping with the shopping nowadays, even learning to cook. Say, this is costing you money. We've been talking a long time. You don't mind. Well, let me tell you about Edgar's stamp collecting merit badge. So this is how you help out the wife, huh? This is a fine mess. No big thing. I'll just rewrap the hamburger and put it in the freezer. It was only out a few minutes. A few minutes? It was more like a few hours. I bet you didn't know that harmful bacteria in meat like that hamburger can double in 20 minutes. Whoa! I must have a whole herd of bacteria in there by now. If you cook that and eat it, your whole family could get sick. You've got to remember to keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Hot means over 140 degrees, and cold means under 40 degrees. But this smells all right, and, and it looks fine. You can't see harmful bacteria, and you can't always smell them, but they can really make you sick. Well, I was going to make chili with that hamburger for the family tonight, but I guess I'll find something else. I'll just bake this chicken. That's simple enough for a newcomer like me. And just a minute, Fred. What now? I haven't done anything yet. Did you wash your hands? No, my hands are clean enough. You've got to keep everything you use very clean, and that includes your hands. Wash your hands in warm, soapy water for at least 20 seconds. And work the lather in between your fingers and under your nails. And also, Fred, get in the habit of taking off that ring when you're cooking. Bacteria like to hide under jewelry, and never prepare food while you have an open sore on your hands, even if it's bandaged. Sores are loaded with bacteria and other germs. Now, Fred, those vegetables, are they for the salad? Some, yes, for a nice salad. You shouldn't put chicken and vegetables together on the board. Hey, Fred. You have to wash that knife and your hands again. I do? Why? Because bacteria from the chicken may be on your hands, on the cutting board, and on that knife. You have to clean all three of them. Otherwise, the bacteria can get into your salad and... I know, and make your family sick. That's right, Fred. It's called cross-contamination. Bacteria are hitchhikers. They can't travel by themselves... But they can cling to things, and as you already know, they can multiply fast. Fred, I've got to have another word with you. What now? I took off my ring, I washed my hands again, I washed all the utensils. You've got to cover that salad if you put it in the refrigerator. Other food can leak from above and cause another form of cross-contamination. Remember, those bacteria are freeloading travelers. Bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum. <laughs> well, hi Fred. You're making another meal, I see. How was the chicken the other night? No complaints, and no one got sick. So, oh, what's the chef preparing now? That chili that I was going to make the other night. I got some ground beef out to thaw. You're thawing it at room temperature. So what? You got a better plan, Fred? Remember that bacteria thrive at room temperature, and virtually all meat contains bacteria. Oops, uh, <clears throat> I should have thought about that. So now what can I do? Well, you can let it thaw in the refrigerator, although that takes some time. You can thaw it in a pack of ice cubes under running water. You can use your microwave. Or you can let it thaw while it cooks. Yeah. Um, you know, the only thing is that, the chili. Um, sure. Thanks. Is this icing? No, no, it's just, it's just right. I did it myself. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really pretty good. Very, very impressed. Well, can I eat out tonight, Mom? I'm impressed, too. <laughs> what do you mean, can you eat out? Boy, they loved my chili. I didn't tell them it was a mix. Ha <laughs> ha. But just the same, I'm beginning to like this cooking business. Oh, Fred. You again. Listen, don't bug me. I'm getting good at this stuff, and nobody's getting sick. But, Fred, 
There's something else I have to tell you. What now? I'm not letting this warm chili sit around. I'm going to get it right into the refrigerator. Yes, you've got the right idea, but the wrong method, Fred. How's that? Well, in a deep container, there will be portions in the middle that won't cool fast enough to prevent bacteria from multiplying. Use a shallow container or several small containers when you put such hot foods into the refrigerator or freezer. Well, that makes sense. You're getting the idea, Fred. You're going to save your family many a stomach ache, or worse. We gourmet cooks need to know the food safety rules as well as the recipes. Like keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold, because bacteria can double their numbers in 20 minutes. Hot means over 140 degrees, and cold means under 40 degrees. And wash your hands before starting to cook and after handling raw foods. Washing your hands means using warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Take off all rings and jewelry during meal preparation. Remember, bacteria like to hide under jewelry. Never prepare food if you have an open sore on your hand. Keep all utensils clean to avoid cross-contamination. And that means washing your knife and cutting board after each use. Store leftovers in shallow containers so that all portions will cool quickly. Cut cooked meat into strips of about three inches so it can cool evenly in the refrigerator. Bon appetit.